Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and I have been slacking off just a little bit. I have two scroller boxes. I don't know what happened. Sometimes I think I put, I actually put these things like safe somewhere in my room and they get lost. <laughs> they get lost because I put them somewhere safe. My September box and I have an October box of scroller box that they have sent to me in the month of September and the month of October. So I, I have seen Cat Valk do this on her channel where she takes two scroller boxes and makes one gigantic piece. So I know these boxes usually come with themes, so I'm going to do both themes in one giant piece. So if you don't know what scroller box is, scroller box is an art subscription box that is sent to your door every single month. So it's amazing. It's like birthday every single month. And they send you art supplies. You have absolutely no idea what the art supplies is. And then you open it and you're like, oh my gosh, I've never tried this before. And you're absolutely in love with it. Let's get started. Open up this one and open up this one. All right, so they're gonna open up like that. Oh, Van Gogh. Oh my gosh, look at this. All right, so let's start with this box. So we're gonna open it up. <gasps> Ooh, okay. Oh, look at all the pretty. Oh my gosh, gummy bear. So we look inside this box, and now let's go ahead and look at this box. Ooh, a precision pencil. I like these. Okay, open it up. Oh, Stabileo, 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 Stabileo. Dump it, get out of the tissue paper! Woo -hoo -hoo. I'm so excited right now. It's it's literally like Christmas. So, so I'm gonna take a look at these two things first. What you have here is a nice printed like postcard, like a little mini poster. So if your walls are as blank as mine, you could take your blank walls and fill them with these awesome little pieces of artwork. Look how cool this is, it's got galaxy and I'm so happy. So what you can do on the back of these awesome art prints is look on the back and you can read up on these particular artists that Scrawler Box has chosen to feature. And then we have these fantastic little bookmarks that Scrawler Box is nice to send to us. So they're super kind because they tell me all about each and every single art supply that I'm receiving in this box. So I can get the actual name because looking on the side of art supplies is a little bit difficult sometimes. So I can look at the actual name of the art supply and then if I want more, I can go on Amazon and buy some more or Michaels or Hobby Lobby.com and check out all these awesome art supplies and buy more stuff. So let's start with the right box over here. Scrawler Box sent me two sea white brushes and I've got to tell you, they've actually sent me some sea white brushes before and they're my absolute favorite brushes. They're good for acrylic painting and for watercolor painting. And then I've got three Van Gogh. Van Gogh. I think it's Van Gogh, right? Am I saying it right? I don't know. I just rewatched the whole Doctor Who episode with um, Eleven and Amy when they went and vi visited Vincent. So, and I cried a lot. So we've got some watercolor Van Gogh. Van Gogh. <laughs> Vincent Van Gogh. Gogh. Vincent Van Gogh. Vincent Van Gogh watercolor paint. So that's really really pretty. We've got two of my favorite shades of blue. Love them. And we got some yellow. Ooh. Then we have three Koai Noor watercolor pencils. Ooh. And then we have Pentel Correction Pen Correct Express. So this is actually like a whiteout pen. If you used to play with whiteout pens all the time in school like I did. And then they were kind enough to send me some actual watercolor paper in the bottom of my box as you can see. Now let's take a look inside of this box. I got some spaceship here. So this is an ISO sketch. I've never seen one of these before, but I'm excited. IsoSketch is a simple drawing tool that makes it really easy to draw 3D shapes. And it fits in your pocket. I have no idea how to use this, but I'm gonna figure it out. Then we have two illustrator markers. So they're alcohol-based markers, and we've got a nice pretty lilac and a wisteria, which is another kind of purple. It's a really light purple, and they're by Spectrum Noir. So I love these markers. They're a great alternative to Copic markers. When it comes to money-wise, they're a lot cheaper to afford so we got a fine tip on one side and then we've got a nice big 
paintbrush tip on the other side. Super nice. I love Spectrum Noir. Then we have this super duper fancy Derwent Precision Mechanical Pencil. 0.5 lead. I love these. These are so nice to work with. And then one of my favorites in the world, we have a Stabilo pen! So I, I like to call them Stablio because that's a lot more fun to say than Stabilo. So this is a black 04 pen. I love using these to write or to doodle with. And then we have a Derwent Fancy Eraser. Hmm, yes, it's so wonderful, so nice. I have. Oh, so that's really nice because they have like a little area where you can put your thumb and you can erase with. Hmm, I like it. And then they sent a couple of pieces of paper in here as well to work with. So my favorite thing about Scrawler Box is their challenge. Because I don't know about you guys, but I love prompts. If you're following me in Inktober right now, then you know I love prompts. Because it gets my creative juices flowing. Every month in your subscription box, Scrawler Box sends on the back of your bookmark the Scrawler Challenge. So what they do is they give you a prompt and then you're supposed to only use the supplies in your subscription box for that month to create something using this prompt. It's a Scrawler Challenge. It's a drawing challenge. So it's so much fun. I have Imagination Palace and Space Mask. Hmm. So what I want to do is I want to combine these two boxes together using all these art supplies that Scrawler Box sent to me and I am going to make it Halloween-y somehow. Let's jump into a time lapse and see what I can come up with. Alrighty, let's so let's talk about this, all these amazing art supplies. Uh, I tried to use that green thing, <laughs> the ISO sketch, and it just was not working out for me. I don't know, but it was really nice to have a good straight edge, like a small straight edge, especially for my sketchbook. I wanted to use my sketchbook, my Inktober sketchbook, for this particular the uh, scrawler box, just because I consider it an Inktober Halloween doodle. So all that sketchbook right now is full of is Halloween doodles. So I started to think about the prompts and I was thinking, hmm, what can I combine that's an imagination palace and space mask? So then I started thinking of, I wanted to make it Halloween, so I thought of a haunted house because I love the Haunted Mansion. Haunted Mansion is probably one of my favorite rides at Disneyland and Disney World. So I wanted to do a Haunted Mansion, but space mask, how could I incorporate space mask? So Haunted Mansion was my imagination palace, space mask, so I thought, is there some way that I can somehow make this haunted mansion look a little bit like an alien house? Like it's a alien who's living there and then I thought of the Halloween song Purple People Eater. One eye, one horn, fine purple people eater. But I didn't make my one horn, one eye. I just, I made a purple monster in the window as you can see. And I wanted the, the haunted mansion to look like a spaceship, like he's kind of like hiding out there. I don't know, maybe he's waiting to abduct a uh, little trick-or-treater <laughs> or I don't know, something, Madea, because I went and saw Madea's Boo to You Halloween or whatever it's called and they went into a haunted, ma a haunted mansion during the movie so I thought maybe the alien's waiting for Madea. <laughs> so that's what I thought about when it came to the props. Now let's talk about the art supplies. I, I, I have to be honest, I think that Spectrum Noir, those markers that you just saw me using on the roof and the um, balcony, I think they are fantastic to use. I love them. They're a great cheaper alternative to Copic markers as you, as you heard me say earlier. And I really like these Vincent Van Gogh. Um, I think I figured it out. I think it's called Van Gogh <laughs> because that's at least what um, the, the characters were saying in the uh, Doctor Who episode of um, with Vincent, Amy, and Eleven. So, uh, I loved using those watercolors. I think they were they were really nice to work with. I got to work with the darker blue one, and the colors were very, very bright and very easy to use. I would definitely recommend that. Um, they're pretty close to my koi watercolors, if I dare say so. And I loved the uh, Koi Noir watercolor pencils. I love watercolor pencils. They're my new favorite way to do watercolor when I want to get something done or I want to do a fast sketch. I usually use my watercolor pencils and they give an awesome effect. And then, I, of course, I use my Stabilo black pen. 
to go and line everything to apply that inktober feel to it and if you remember stabilo pens are a water resistant so they're not water resistant they're um water soluble my goodness what is wrong with my terminology <laughs> so the water soluble that means you can go ahead and you can add water to it and it will spread around so that's what i used at the grass at the end of my haunted mansion spaceship <laughs> So I got, I got everything fit in. I did my Haunted Mansion for my Halloweeny, and then I did an Inktober little bit to it, and I applied Imagination Palace, and I applied Space Mask. So definitely loved these scroller boxes. They were amazing. I can't believe I actually was able to fit all my prompts into one thing, one piece, and I was able to use every single art supply. All these art supplies are a dream, and thank you, Scrawler Box, for sending me these scrawler, this Scrawler Box. Is, oh my gosh, and this, this whiteout pen is definitely an awesome alternative if you need to do a galaxy picture. I definitely loved using it and using it on my highlights. It was great. I love everything in this box. Boxes. So that was a lot of fun. Now, if you would like to join me in the wonderful Scrawler Challenge every single month, you can go and purchase your own subscription on the website right here across the screen, as you can see. And I will put it in the info box down below. So go and check out Scrawler Box, check out their website, see all the offers they have to offer, and purchase a subscription of your own. That way, you can join me every month in the Scrawler Challenge. So yes, thank you so much, Scrawler Box, once again for sending me these boxes. I apologize that I lost one box and forgot to do a video. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Happy Hallow Hallow Halloween and I will see you all with another Inktober video. Probably put up one along with this video just because I love Inktober. But yes, I will see you all later. Bye!